Well, hello everyone. George here. Hope you all are doing okay today. Well, today, uh, well, I'm doing a little something different as far as the background video. I've got Call of the Wild, the angler here. Um, thought I'd drive around this map here and uh, talk to you about Sebastian Rogers. Or I really have some questions. So, um, I uh, just... I tell you, this story of um, Sebastian just keeps getting crazier and crazier, and the family situation is crazy. Um, I just don't know what to think about that. So I thought that uh, we'd just drive around in the map here. I have a few games that I love, and this is uh, this is not a bad game. But, folks, I do have the, the question. I'm wondering what... Uh, this is the thing that I was wondering about. What happened the morning that Katie, like, you know, she uh, she said that she, uh, you know, she called, well, she called uh, Seth, and, uh, or not Seth, Chris. She called Chris, I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk and drive. <laughs> uh, she called Chris, and she said that she, uh, she was so frantic, right? She couldn't, she couldn't uh, call 911. Well, okay, so she couldn't call 911, but then after she talked to Chris, she got in the car and she drove around looking for Sebastian. At least that's what she says. Um, now, I'm not alleging anything here. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that she's guilty of anything. This is all alleged. You know, just alleging things. I'm just, I'm asking the question, where does she go? Like, where does she go? Like, does she go to like a, um, a gas station to look for Sebastian? Did she go over to the uh, construction site? Did she, um, I'm just wondering. That's what, that's what I'm wanting to know. You know, like, I don't understand She's not been on the video. She hasn't said a whole lot of um, things about, like, well, you know, I, I went here and I went there uh, looking for Sebastian. At least I hadn't heard her say that. So I'm just wondering if you all know, you know, like maybe have you heard that sh where she says she went when she uh, drove, you know, that morning looking for Sebastian because I mean the story goes that she says that she got in the car and she drove around and she was looking for Sebastian and she came back so I'm just wondering where did she go um, did she stop somewhere did she talk to somebody did she say hey have you seen my son um, with you know some of the neighbors did some of the neighbors talk to her that's what I'm wondering you know did did that happen? So, um, now another question that I have is like, um, oh, we gotta watch out for the bears. Um, what is the, uh, oh, okay, where did, Ka yeah, okay, here's a question I have too. Like, where is Katie's family at in this whole story? Like, have we seen any of her family, like her mom, her dad? maybe sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, have we seen any of them like on a news or anything talking about, you know, they're trying to figure out where Sebastian is. I'm wondering about that. What do you think, folks? Have you heard anything or seen anything about her family? Because that's, that, you know, that's kind of like, um, that would be a very important thing right there, wouldn't you think? I mean, um, you would think you would see her family. I mean, we've seen Chris's family on uh, um, on their, on, you know, like on the. Uh, um, well, <laughs> we actually saw Chris's family uh, uh, following JLR. I, that's for sure. But I don't know. I, I that was one of the questions that I'm having, um, and I'm sure that. Uh, People in the groups have, um, you know, they've asked that question, you know, where is Katie's family in this? Why ain't they out looking also? Why, 
are they not on like the news and interviews with Nancy Grace and all this, you know, like saying, hey, you know, our daughter or, you know, talking about Katie is so upset. I've not seen none of that. I've not seen none of that. So that that really bothers me right there. It really does. And um, oh, OK. And another another. Uh, uh, let's see, another question I have is like the landfill. Okay, so the landfill. Um, you remember in the very beginning, they were talking about the landfill and they were doing a search. And when I first saw that, when I first saw that, I'm thinking, oh no, please tell me she didn't put, or somebody didn't, somebody put that child in the trash. I hope that's not true. I mean, so I don't know. And the thing about the, the, the landfill at the dumpster, this is what I'm thinking. Okay, so they have to have a warrant to do that. Am I correct? I mean, don't you think they, ha they have to have a warrant to go and search the landfill? At least that's what I'm thinking. So in order to get a, a search warrant, you know, you got to go through the judge. You got to have probable cause um, to do a search. At least I was. I'm under an impression that you would. So I'm just wondering, folks, what do you think? Did uh, they have a good reason to get a search warrant? And you know, I mean, they would have to be looking for. Did they think they was going to find Sebastian possibly in the landfill? So that's that's another good question. So has anybody heard? what they found, if they found anything. I know that, I think the news said that they had, uh, didn't find anything, right? I mean, they were saying something like that. Um, they didn't find, when they went to the search, they didn't find anything. So I don't know, I'm not sure what went on with that. And we don't know, they may be still possibly looking in landfills. I don't know. If you know the answer to that, let me know. And uh, so the other question I had is, um, okay, I'm reading my notes. Uh, uh, if Katie believes uh, Sebastian walked out the door barefooted with glasses and a keychain flashlight, um, why has she not been looking? So that it's probably that's a real good question that I think a lot of people probably have asked like you say your child walked out barefooted with a flashlight keychain wouldn't you be out every day like Seth uh, looking for your child like going frantic like what in the heck is going on with my child where where did he go um, so I would think a mom would be frantic looking for her son. I know that um, I, I had previously thought that maybe with Katie's uh, military, um, you know, with her military work and her background and all that, that maybe she's she can't um, say stuff and something happened possibly to Sebastian that she just can't say Maybe he got kidnapped, you know, and had something to do with her work. But I'm just thinking, I don't know about that. I'm like, um, I, I would still think if that is the case, if, if somebody, if somebody kidnapped, um, Sebastian, you know, like took him away from Katie, you know, even that evening when they went out to eat on that Sunday evening, before Sebastian went missing, um, wouldn't you think that she would still, even if she wasn't allowed to say certain things, wouldn't she be out like, um, you know, saying, "Hey, I'm I, whoever's got my son. You best believe, you know, we're gonna get you." And I haven't seen none of that. I haven't seen any, you know, like the only thing I did see was I think the last uh, video or. The last interview that she did, she uh, she said on there, she says, uh, I think in the something like in the sense that she says Bubba, and she calls Sebastian Bubba. Um, if you're watching TV, 
call the police. Mama loves you. So, does she think somebody has her child? I mean, I really haven't been clear about what she's trying to say. And so, and then the other thing, too, that's really bothering me here lately is the fact that um, Chris, you know, told Seth that they're going to work together, you know, and they're going to work together trying to find Sebastian. Well, I'm like, okay. So everybody's waiting to see them working together. Well, I don't, I don't know, folks. I, have you seen them working together? I, I, don't, I don't think I have. So I'm just like, this is crazy. What is going on with this family? You know, it's like, um, they're, somebody's hiding something, and they're not saying something. And us, the public, I mean, I feel like, in a way, we're getting duped on things. I know that, in a way, I think they feel like that we don't really need to know stuff. But, you know, we were presented with this story. And it's us YouTubers, TikTokers, and people that get on social media that keep Sebastian's face out there, that keep a light on that. And that should be the number one thing you should be um, grateful for is if these if YouTubers are out here and they're talking about Sebastian and they're just asking questions, you know, then, I mean, you, you should be, you know, very happy about that. And you should be involved with that. Now, Seth is. I mean, he's been involved. He's stressed out, as you can tell here lately, with all the media and no results in, you know, the whereabouts of uh, Sebastian. I can, I get that. I mean, I know the poor man is going through hell. And plus, having to deal with Katie and Chris with how they're acting, you know, they're one minute they're not searching or not going to have anything to do with him. Then the next minute, yeah, they are. And then now they're not. I don't know just makes me wonder what in the heck is going on okay so let's see um what's the next question here um let me stop this car because i'll run off the road and hit a rock um why have we only seen maybe one be okay that's a, another question folks maybe you can answer this because i don't know this qu answer as far as i know i've only seen maybe maybe one, maybe two, like, videos of Sebastian, wouldn't you think they'd be like, um, you know, like birthday videos, uh, Christmas videos, um, you know, stuff like that. Why have we not seen any of that so we can kind of get an idea of how Sebastian, how his reactions is? Like, if somebody saw Sebastian, they may not know, you know, that it would be him. And I, I believe that, because I, I was listening to one of the um, live interviews, and it was saying that um, there was a guy on there, he's saying that he didn't know if he would know Sebastian or not, because he's seen photos, and he's seen different photos, and he don't know which one to, you know, know that it's the present photo. And that's me, I don't know what the present photo is now. Um... And that would be another thing you would think that Katie would be getting on there and saying, hey, please use this photo. This is the main photo. This is the latest photo. You would think she'd be on there and say, hey, here's a video. Here's some videos of Sebastian. Um, this is what he looks like now. This is how he acts. This is what he sounds like when he's talking. If you recognize him, um, Please call 911, you know. Um, so you would think that you would hear her say that or even some of the family member of her family, right? I mean, you would think that at least. At least like I would think. I know that, I mean, if my family member was missing, that's what I would be doing. I'd be getting on there every day on the, you know, YouTube and Facebook and TikTok or wherever and say, hey, this is what uh, my child look like, looks like, and um, I'd like to, uh, you know, just keep you updated, you know. But we have not heard any of that, folks. I just don't know what to think about this. 
and I can see the frustration in everybody, right? I mean, we are just so, I think as a community, we're so aggravated that we're not getting any answers by the right people. You know, I mean, Seth, he's the one giving us some of the best information. And that poor guy, I mean, he's just limited what he knows because they're not telling him nothing. So what the hell's going on? I mean, I just don't know, folks. So, but I thought I would uh, make this a uh, little quick video and, you know, we'd talk about that. And I, I'm just, I don't know, folks. I, I, uh, I'm hoping for the best for Sebastian. And, you know, as time goes on, I don't know, folks. I mean, you know, it, you know, it never, it's never a good thing when it goes this far. It's two months now, right? Two months since, um, uh, Sebastian's been missing and I don't know but you know you should never give up hope but folks I got to tell you I'm just I don't know I don't know what to think about the whole situation um so if you know any of the answers to the questions I was asking you know like the videos of, of Sebastian like where did Katie go that morning or something please let me know in the comments because I really just I'm just really puzzle it's just a big puzzle to me like why would you not um i mean get out here and be on the videos and say hey this is my son showing a pamphlet of him or a picture of him or something and saying you know i need some answers but you ain't seeing this and she's done left her home they done left that beautiful home and they're living in a mobile in a camper which the camper ain't bad itself, as you can see, at least from what we've seen of it. Um, but, you know, it's not your home and it's not where Sebastian. It makes you feel like that something happened at that house, you know, like tremendously, like tragically or something. That it's like, what what happened? I mean, did, um, I just don't know. I mean, what would make somebody leave their house like that, right? I mean... I just don't, I don't get that. I really don't understand what happened to make them start acting like this. I mean, did they, did something bad really happen in their house and they're not telling us or we're not supposed to know, but yet we're supposed to get out here and, you know, search for Sebastian. And I get that. I mean, I, I people are going to search for Sebastian re regardless, just like they have they did for summer wells, you know, I mean, and there's still people searching for summer wells, but, you know, if you are not showing no interest of looking for your son, it's just making you look guilty. There's something happened. You left your home. What the hell happened? You know, so I don't know, folks. I just, uh, I wish we could find some answers here of, of, you know, about, what happened to Sebastian? Um, I know the the uh, you know the law. I mean they, you know they can't they can only say so much, and they can't arrest somebody without a body. You know I mean they can't if there's um, I mean if they have if they I mean if they have probable cause, you know they have to have evidence that there was a crime committed, and they're just not ready to do that yet. So maybe they're close, hopefully, um, but I don't know, folks. I just, uh, I just think it's a sad situation all the way around that uh, that we're having to, you know, I don't know. It's just like, golly, folks, I don't know what's going to happen with this case. I mean, are we going to, I don't know. So anyway, folks, I thought I would just... Uh, do a little short video here i am parked on the side of the road i don't even know where i'm at but in the game but anyway folks i sure appreciate you watching and if you all know anything about the questions i was asking please let me know in the comments and well folks until next time i think i'm going to just get out of this jeep and go look at the view and maybe get the fishing pole and just fish and think about things right so i don't know Poor Sebastian, feel bad for that young man. Feels so terrible. Whatever happened to him, you know, it's it's bad. So it it's not looking good. 
So anyway, folks, if you have a loved one, please go and give them a hug. You know, that's all I can say. Just give them a hug and just tell them you love them because you just never know day by day, right? Just never know. So, okay, folks. Well, until next time, folks, this is George. And, well, I'll see you down the road. Bye-bye.